7th day from Shri Krish International School. Today I am going to explain you the interesting topic in mathematics namely fractions. What are fractions? Fractions are nothing but a part of a whole. Fractions are used for cutting a cake, cutting a pizza and so on. And now we are going to learn about the proper and the improper fraction. This is the type of a fraction which we are going to learn. And what are proper fractions? What are improper fractions? Let me can say with the example of a pizza. Pizza will help you to cut or divide any parts. So it will be a good example for you to know about the proper and the improper fraction. With the example of a pizza. This is the pizza which was made by myself. And with this I am going to explain you about the proper and the improper fraction. And let me can take an example for the proper fraction. 2 by 8. What is the definition of proper fraction? The numerator is smaller than the denominator. The numerator is 2 and the denominator is 8. And the numerator is the used parts and the denominator is the total parts. And let me can count the total parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And now let me can cut off the uh, 2. 2 parts means that will be the eaten parts from myself. 1 and 2. This will be the proper fraction. The numerator is smaller than the denominator. The 2 is smaller than the denominator as 8. Now let me can explain you about the improper fraction. The improper fraction is the numerator is greater than the denominator. And now let me can explain you with the example of 8 by 7. 8 will be the numerator and the 7 will be the denominator. Now let me can count the total parts as the denominator. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7. And now we are going to uh, numerator as 8. 8 will be the eaten parts but I have 7. I have to add 1. So, the improper fraction is also known as the borrowed fraction. I had been borrowed 8. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 are the uh, borrowed parts or eaten parts from myself. Now, I am clear that you all would understand the proper and the improper fraction. Thank you.